YouTube, hey Facebook, guys, I'm giving you guys another blog video. I figured I'd give you two today because I'm seriously hurting. And like I said, you know, I've been missing both of them today. Um, I spent some time earlier today missing Cass. I was able to get over that perfectly fine. I was able to get myself back up and be able to get more shit done. I've actually accomplished quite a lot today, so... But I was, like, able to finish stuff. And that was when I found the yearbook. I started thinking about Cass a little more. And like I said in the last video, I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad at Jesse. I pretty much moved on from all that. Because it's all past shit. It's all drama. It's stuff I want to be a no part of. Because I'm trying to better my life. But the one that I am having a hard time moving on from is Alyssa. I know it's been four months, but still, every single day, it seems like it's getting harder and harder. I say to myself that I'm going to be able to move on. I'm going to fucking get over her and be able to find a better life. Build a life and find someone new. You know, I know I've been hitting up girls trying to find someone to be with. And that's because I'm, I'm seriously, honestly trying to move on. I'm doing everything to try to move on from this girl. And it's not getting any easier. I could say right now that moving on from her, it seems to be getting harder and harder every day. It seems to be like, I say I'm going to do it, and uh, at the end of the day, I don't. Every day, I still think about Alyssa. There's some day that doesn't come by that I don't somehow think about her. And... I know you guys on YouTube saw the la my last uh, one of my uh, Minecraft video a while back, and I blew up my Alyssa statue to try to move on because I was make in the process of building a big thing that said Alyssa, and I was gonna put a little sign underneath it saying I still love you. Um, but I had to remove it to try to move on because things like that that remind me of you is not going to help and I know Alyssa if you see this I'm happy for you I know you found someone new and I know he treats you right and to be honest I'm happy for you I'm happy for the both of you and I just want you to stay happy no matter no matter what Okay, you're the sweetest girl in the world. I haven't met anyone like you. I haven't been able to move on from you, and I know I may never. But I don't want you to worry about me, because I know eventually I'll get over it. Um, I'm a tough person. I've been through a lot of shit, and I'm pretty sure I can go through a lot more. Um, that's why like I said I'm a tough person I can I'll make it through this eventually I know it may take a while and it may take years months months years five years ten years I don't know but I know that um, I am working on trying to move on I'm doing everything I can um, but it's not getting easier and I know the only way I'm gonna be happy is if I can finally let her go I know that it may never happen, though. I got that in the back of my mind. And that's what's hurting. Thought of being alone. I've never truly took it to heart. Never let it actually, like, never thought that that could actually be an anxiety of mine. And, well, I don't think it is, because I know I have a weird thing about heights. Like, if I'm on a fucking ladder or some stupid shit, I actually, I actually shake. So I think I do have an anxiety for heights, but I don't for anything else. Um, maybe there's a fear popping up, and that's a fear of being alone, okay? Because I did truly love you, Lissa. If you see this video, and I know you probably will eventually, because they're going to be up on YouTube. And this one will be put into, like, um, I'll probably put, like, Alyssa Wright Part 2 or something. Um... Because you're amazing. I was lucky to have you. And the guy you're with now is lucky to have you now. I know I fucked up. And I know I'll probably end up spending the rest of my life regretting it. Because I had a... You were amazing. 
Alyssa, you were my everything. I literally would die for you. I would give anything for you. And I know I'm a fuck up. Trust me, I know it more than anybody else. I live the reminders every fucking day. I still haven't moved on from you. And because I'm a fuck up, I know it's the reason why I lost you. I know because I'm a fucking slob. I'm not good with cleaning. I know this. I know this. Trust me. I know this. And I understand that you don't want to have to take care of someone. And I, and I Trust me. I understand. <sighs> to be honest, you never would. Because I normally tend to take care of myself. And I always have. Um, remember, I was out of the house at 17. I was no longer living with my mom. Um, and, you know, I did end up moving back in with her, but you know what ended up happening? I had to pay her 200 bucks a month for rent. So, trust me, it hasn't been a walk in the park. My life has been very, very hard and rough. I went through a father who was a piece of shit molester, okay? Yeah, yeah I'm going to put this out there. I was molested as a kid. Um, and it wasn't by... It was by my father. The guy who's supposed to protect you and be there for you wasn't in my case. He was... He hurt me. Um, how it's one of the things I still, to this day, haven't been able to move on from. I know I need to. I know I need to find something that allows me to cope to it. I know I'll never be like him. I'm nothing like him. I know I've... Trust me, I've lived in enough small towns and dealt with small towns. I can't even go to pier very often. And when I do, I always get something like, Oh, you're your dad's kid. You're going to be just like your father. So I, I don't like going to pier. And... And it does happen. It happens once in a while. You know, I went down for the wedding was the last time. And like I said, I heard at least three of, I don't know how many fucking smart ass remarks. So I don't, I tend to try to stay out of places like that where I can just, because I don't want to live in the past. I don't want to live in what I had to go through. I want to live in what I'm going through now, what I'm doing now, how I'm better in my life. I want to learn all that shit. I want to, Yesterday is yesterday. Tomorrow is tomorrow. Today is today. So when I go down there, I don't like to hear, oh, you're just going to be just, you're just like your daddy. You look just like him. Like, see, this, I can't do this shit. Because I look too much like my dad. Like, I remember my ex, Cass, she used to say, you look good if you swish your hair back. I'm like, fuck that shit. Okay, I look like my goddamn dad. Fuck that shit. He's a worthless piece of shit who deserves the rotten hell. That's how I honestly feel about him. To this day, I still feel that way about him. Um, but, like I said, and I've, I think that may be one of the reasons why relationships have never worked. Was, yeah, because in the back of their mind, um, they could end up with a guy who ends up turning like a like Russell. But no, I'm nothing like my father. I can promise you that for sure. For one, he's a worthless piece of shit. Okay, and I told myself I'd never be him. And I've actually stick to that. Nothing like my father. I'm a much better man. Much better person. Um, Alyssa... I know I fucked up, and I live with it every day, and I'm happy for you that you moved on. I want you to be happy, even if that's not with me. I know someday I'll move on. It may not happen tomorrow, may not happen next week, or may not happen five years down the road. I don't know, but I'll eventually move on. It may take time, but eventually it'll like nothing happened actually I can't say that because that'll never happen because I'll know in my mind that it has still happened and I still love you
I love you, Alyssa. Still do. The love for you hasn't gone away. And every day it doesn't seem like it is. I love you now just as much as I did the day I when we were together. It sucks. It honestly does. Because some nights, you know, I sleep in the same bed we slept in together. You know, sometimes I wake up wishing you were next to me. I wake up, um, I've done it a couple times, I'll cuddle with a fucking pillow. The same pillow you used. Um, and I know that it sounds pathetic. It sounds bad, you know. I'm a fucking loser, whatever the fuck you want to call me. I don't care. Because I know how I feel. And I know that I care about you, and I still do. The love for you hasn't gone away. It hasn't gotten any easier. <laughs> Being without you. Fuck, I still have dreams of us getting back together, and it's, it's not... You were perfect. In every way. You deserve better than me. And that's why I'm backing away. Told you I would. Maybe some days, someday at least we could be friends. Because you were amazing. You were honestly one of the best parts of my life. And I'm... Honestly grateful that you were a part of it. Even though we broke up, even though we're no longer together, I thank you for the time I had with you. Because it allowed me to learn. It allowed me to become a better person today. I'm changing myself because of you. And I know there's a possibility you'll never see this, so I if you do you see know how I feel and I know I, a lot of the stuff I need to get off my chest or it's going to haunt me until the day I die um, today I literally put a knife to my chest and thought about just keep going in. I honestly did just a little bit ago, not too long ago I'm back to the depressed me again and I don't like it. I honestly don't fucking like it. I just wish every day that, the f that I could be happy again. I honestly do. The problem is, is I felt what happiness was like. Lost it. Alyssa, I know you don't notice it, but when I lost you, it felt like I lost everything. Because in my eyes, I did. The only thing I still had was my house. And, yeah, I don't even... And there was my Xbox at the time, but that's that's gone now, too. I had to sell that. So, literally, I have nothing now. I'm bad. I know I, do, I, I got my 360, and I'm getting a computer this weekend, guys. So, there will be better content. Uh, not this weekend, but next weekend, for sure. I'm going down to, I'm going to, um, I believe, it's either in Duluth or Superior, or it might be in Brainerd. I don't know where my aunt's uh, storage unit is, but I know that I'll be getting a uh, computer out of there this soon. So, um, there will be a computer so I can get some other content out to you guys. Um, and I do got a tax return, so I got some, I'm going to get some better tools to make better videos. Where I was at is uh, I lost everything after losing you. Literally. I had just lost my job. I, I thought, hey, we're going to be just fine. You know, we'll make it through. I've, I, I know myself that I have been through rougher patches and made it through with relationships in the past. Um, And none of them, none of them, period, did I ever have as much feeling for them as I did you. That's why I honestly felt like we could get through it. That, yeah, we had, we had a speed bump. They happen in relationships. To be honest, they actually do. And 
I honestly felt like we can get over it and we can move forward and, you know, fall more in love. <sighs> because you meant everything to me. There's a reason why I agreed to move to Duluth. Trust me, I hate that fucking town with a fucking passion. Okay, and I hate it now more than ever. I can't go into that town. Um, um, well, I do once in a while, but I prefer not to. Um, I go into that town, I hear smart-ass fucking remarks. I hear freaking people mumble under their fucking breath about me. And, you know, it gets irritating. And those of you who've been doing it, by the way, I'm not a fucking idiot. So if you know who you are, dude, stop it. Honestly, actually, to be honest, you can keep doing that shit. Because I don't give a fuck. Because people who are spreading that shit don't know the real me. Oh, shit. But those of you who have been spreading it don't know the real me. You're hearing rumors spread by an ex-girlfriend. The fact that you guys actually listen to that shit is kind of pathetic. Okay? But I know for a fact, I'm not what she's saying I am. Okay? And yes, Cass and Alyssa, if you, or Cass and Jesse, if you guys see this, I'm not mad at you. I've moved on. I don't care what the fuck you guys say about me now. I honestly don't care. Because I know I'm not what you guys are saying I am. So. Have a nice day. Anyways. Alyssa. I still love you. To this day. The love for you hasn't gone away. Some days I wish it would. Because then I wouldn't be hurting like I am now. I know I need to move on. I know I need to let you go. I'm trying to get into another relationship to try to see if I, that helps. Like, a good relationship. I'm trying to find not someone just to fuck around with. I'm at a point in my life where I'm ready to settle down. I have been for quite a while. So I'm looking for someone to settle down with. Not just, you know, fucking leave type shit. I know some of you guys out there think that's what I'm looking for, but it's not. I honestly am not. I'm, what, almost 25? I want to settle down. But I know I do need to fix my life. But I'm not closing my mind to the possibility of finding someone. Because I know by me finding someone may end up being the end of me missing Alyssa. And may end up being the next best thing. Um, you know, hell, I'd love to go out and do something with someone and... Just be able to move on. But I know it's, it's really hard. It gets harder and harder every day. Every day it seems to be that as days go on, you know, I tend to sit there and dwell more and more on you. I tend to sit there and miss you. I said that I tend to sit there and wish you were still we were still together. But at the same time I understand why that we're not together anymore. Because I know I fucked up. And to be honest, thanks to that I know what not to do in the next relationship. I know not to let my pride get to me. I know I not I know not to let my stubbornness get to me. I changed because of you, Alyssa. Hell, I quit smoking. Um, I, my drinking's died down. Um, let's see, the last time I you know, drank was oh, I know, I drank just that. Yeah, Sunday. Sunday was the last day I drank. I've been drinking since Sunday. It's been a couple days where I've wanted to, like tonight I've wanted to go out and drink, but I can't afford it. So, when I have the money to afford it, yes, then I go out and have myself a good time. You know, when I have tax return, maybe I'll go to the bar. 
go to Snickers. I love that place, guys. Awesome place. Um, I just, I wish every day that I can move on from Alyssa. But I know it's not going to get, it's not going to be easy. I know it's not. And I know eventually, yeah, I will. Eventually, yeah, I'll find someone new. But I have a bad feeling it won't be anytime soon. I have a bad feeling that it may take months, years. So, we'll see. Because I know for one thing, I haven't felt this way about anyone. So, and I've never loved someone this much. Alyssa. I pray for you every night. I know, I mean, I believe in the whole religion thing, which I, you know, everyone has their quirks, but or the has their thing. And I've never hated you for it. Never have. It's like, yeah, I understand. Some people don't believe in God. Some people don't have religion. They don't believe in it. And I understand that. I'm, I'm not going to judge someone based upon that. See, I'm not, I'm, I'm. But uh, I believe I'm more of a Christian than most Christians. Most Christians judge everyone based off everything. Literally, if, like, but I don't. I won't judge someone. I'm not against gays. I'm not against transgenders. I'm not against races. I'm not judgmental. I'm one of the least judgmental people. I see someone walking down the street, I'm just not going to give a fuck. I may not say anything, but that doesn't mean that I'm ju judging you already, Okay. I go based off, I get to know someone before I judge. See, I meet them, talk to them, figure out who they are and how they are. And I make my judgment based on that. I judge based on how the person is once I meet them, met them. I don't judge people based off anything other than who you are inside. And that's, I've always gone, done. done done it okay and trust me i'm a non-racist redneck how many of us do exist okay it's actually there's a lot more than you guys give credit because i know you guys tend to assume every redneck's racist but no. um but like i said Alyssa, you know i love you moving on from you has not been easy it's been one of the hardest things i've ever had to go through And I've gone through a lot of shit. I've been through a lot of shit. You losing you has actually tied up to the pain of... It's gotten close to the pain of my father. Just because how much I cared about you. Um, I cried today. Those of you who know me don't know I don't cry. And I do everything in my power not to. But just remembering how much I love Alyssa. And how much I care about her. And how much I need her. Or how much she means to me. Kills me. To be honest, I thought I'd never be able to cry again. I thought that that part of me it all dried up but it's still it's happened since losing Alyssa it's gotten worse like today I cried and I cried hard and it takes a lot out of me because I don't normally admit to when I fuck up okay but I know I fucked up I admit to my mistakes and I know not very many people can say the same. Alyssa, losing you was the worst mistake I ever made. Fucking up with our relationship was the worst mistake I've ever made. I made a lot of them.
With you, I know I would have become a better person. If I didn't let my stubbornness and my pride get the better of me. But I did. And I hate it. I hate it more than anything. I love you, Alyssa. I always will. And you'll always mean the world to me. And there'll never come a day where I'll stop loving you. And we made a promise. Forever and always. And hasn't changed on my part. I know for a fact that I still love you. I know for a fact if all of a sudden you were to want to come back to me, I would say yes in a heartbeat. Because of how much you mean to me. I know I'm done begging for you to come back. Because I know you've moved on. And I know you found someone better. Be honest, yeah. He's better than me. But it doesn't help that I remember everything about you. I remember your brown eyes, or your, your yeah, your brown, yeah. Your hair, your curly, long curly hair. I love that. Okay. I love. I missed your smile. Your voice. The way you said you loved me. I honestly truly loved you. And I still do. I remember everything about you. Absolutely everything. There isn't anything that I don't remember. I remember how it feels to be next to you. I miss it. I honestly do. And it's not getting easier on me. I, I no, I'm not trying to make you feel sorry for me. Honestly, not. Just telling you how I feel, and telling you know YouTube because I need to get it off my chest. Because I know it'll keep haunting me, and haunting me until I'm no longer. Um, I know even after I'm gone, all these videos will always be out there. Alyssa, I remember a lot more than you think I do. Your favorite book. White Fang. Favorite, favorite childhood movie. Treasure Planet. Trust me, I remember a lot. Hell, I still remember your favorite vehicles, uh, Rubicon, Jeep Rubicon. <laughs> um, I remember we went to the freaking uh, car dealership, <laughs> and uh, we argued over the Mustang. It was it was a silly little argument, but I miss it. You know, we were sitting there. I was like, it's practical because it's got four doors. And you were telling me it wasn't because it had all the power. I was like, it's still practical. Trust me, I remember that. And I haven't forgotten about it. Trust me, memories like that, I'm not letting myself let go. Because there are things that make me hold on. I do remember. I fucked up. When I when I called you Cass, I hated myself for it. I literally wanted... I hated myself when I did that. I was like, she's not Cass. She's better than Cass. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I hated myself for it. I honestly did. You may not think I did. Okay. And yes... I, I still have the fucking note you wrote in my fucking notebook and I read it I do 
and it makes me tear up. Hell, I even run across your old Facebook and then I see a picture of you on it. Tears me up. Wow. Tears me up as well. I thought no one would get me to this point where I'd break down in tears. That I would be down on my knees. That I would be in them as much pain as I am. I, I didn't think someone would put me into a point where I don't even want to get out of bed sometimes. Because sometimes I just want to lay there and just pass. Because I never thought someone would get to me to the point where every day is a struggle without. I never thought someone would get me to, me to the point where I think where every day would be a struggle without that person in my life. I never thought that would happen. But this girl Alyssa, who I was only with for six months did that to me I let myself I let someone in and because of it I man, got hurt but at the same time I fucked up I let my pride I let my stubbornness I let that shit get the better of who I am and Every day I know I fucked up. I pray to the Lord every day that you're happy. That you're feeling better. That things are going great. Because honestly, that's what I want for you. Even if I'm not in your life, I want you to be happy. Maybe sometimes, like I said, we can be friends. At least be friends someday. Because you did mean a lot to me. And... I'd rather someday us be, uh, you be in my life someday than never be in my life again. And so because of this, I'm wishing you the best. And I'm not pursuing anymore. I'm done. Because I understand that, yeah, you moved on. You found someone better. You found what you wanted. I know I can't say the same, because I know it hasn't been exactly easy. Um, I'm taking this, me being myself, pretty easily. I'm taking it a lot better than I thought I would. Um, and I've been alone for quite a while now, so... That's not... I'm getting used to it. Day, every day I'm getting more and more used to it. Um... I'm signing up for public housing here soon, so I'll probably be moving to one of their houses here soon, and I won't have roommates anymore, so I'd be literally by myself, and um, I know I'm going to be staying here probably past August, but um, I know that My brothers are old. My brother, my Nick's moving to Hibbing. Zach's moving to the cities. My parents are moving to the cities. Um, I think my grandma's even thinking about moving. Um, Sharon will be the only relative I will have up here. That's if she doesn't move. Um, so, I don't have anyone in my life. Or in my daily life anymore. I know things are changing. They'll, they'll still come visit, and I know this, and we'll still be close because we've always been a close knitted family. But I know that they're moving on to better things, and I'm happy for them. I honestly am. Zach wants to move to the cities, and I'm saying, go for it, bud. I can't wait for you to build a good life and have a good life, you know? And I tell it to my siblings all the time. I tell my parents, if you guys want to move to the cities, go for it. I know this. Not everyone loves the range, and I know not even I love the range. But to me, it's become home, and lately it's been feeling more like home than I have felt in any other place I've lived. So, I don't see myself moving from the range. Maybe I'll find somebody up here, who knows? Who fucking knows? But like I said, Alyssa, um, I still love you. I still care about you. And there'll never be a day where I'll stop caring about you and stop loving you and 
I know that you're better off. I honestly do. Because, yeah, you said it yourself. I have never, I haven't changed. Even though inside, I know I have. Um, right now, right now, I'm getting the studio. I'm reorganizing the studio, getting it all situated for uh, more content and stuff because I got a computer coming in, so I'm getting a spot set up for that. Um, and then. Uh, once I get into public housing, I'll be moving anyways, so I'm not setting up a permanent situation. I'm just uh, temporary. Um, the studio's doing good. Um, other than there not being an Xbox One here anymore, other than that, I've got what I need. I got my phone to make videos here for you guys. Um, and those of you guys who are friends with me on Xbox, I'm always putting achievements on the fucking board because I'm still playing my 360. Um... And I'll be getting a computer, so I'll have some more stuff going up there as well. So I'll have a PC connected to my Xbox Live as well. And hopefully maybe I can get that to uh, run the games I need to run. So I'll be back. Like heavy hardcore gaming in a couple weeks. And with streams even. But... um. And more videos, because I know, and guys, I'm going to start doing this because I'm not exactly enjoying 100% of where my YouTube channel is going, because I started out with gaming. That's how I built the channel. That's how I built it. So now I'm going to, I know the reaction videos, they do very well. They do extremely well. Trust me. I know I'm watching them climb like no tomorrow. The how to do videos are doing very well. So, I'm going to be keep popping them out, but it's going to be a lot less often. I think I've decided I'm going to do three reactions a week. Okay. Um, I'm going to increase um, the amount of streams that go out. Um, so, I'm going to try to get a stream out um, as much as I can. Because I know that means more content on my channel, and I want that. Because I need to get as much content as I can on my channel. Um, I'm going to start doing some game news as well. Um, like if I find something, uh, an interesting article, I'll start showing you guys. And uh, we'll do another geek talk. And I know I'm collaborating with uh, Snoochie Bucci here soon. So that'll be pretty cool. And uh, I got some other stuff coming up. So we'll see what happens. Um... And uh, any other YouTubers, guys, if you want to collaborate with me on anything, uh, just leave a comment down below and we'll figure something out how to collaborate in something. And we'll figure something out, okay? Because if you guys want to collaborate, I'm all for it right now. Because I did notice that like the collaboration videos are going pretty well, actually. Because me and Nick did some talk videos. Oh, see, we're going to... Me and uh, Snoochie Bucci will be collaborating with some a lot of videos coming up here pretty soon. Um, we're gonna be doing another probably we're gonna probably do a weekly talk video, like the ones we put up. Um, we're gonna do a weekly talk video. We're also gonna do uh, some streams on the um, Minecraft world that I've been building. And if you guys want to join that, remember just put down your PSM down below in the comments. Um, or put your PSN in any of my fucking comments. I'm not caring anymore. So if you're watching one of my videos and decide to give me your PSN to join my Minecraft world, go for it. Um, just right. If it's not for, if it's not in the Minecraft videos, just put down below that um, PSN. I want to join Minecraft world. You gotta put that down. If it's not in a Minecraft, it's not a comment down in Minecraft because I do have some community members now in the world, but I'm. I've got an open border system right now, so come on in. But as I, where I was, um, Alyssa, I still care about you. I, you still mean, like I said, I'd rather someday us be friends than not have you in my life at all because you were the best part of my life. And um, because of you, I'll be a better person. I'd rather you have you in my life as a friend than not have you in my life at all. And you know me. 
If you're in a relationship, I'm going to respect that. I'm just being completely honest. I'm not going to try to get with you. I'm not going to try to hook up with you. I'm not going to even try to kiss you. I'm not even going to try anything. Because I respect the fact that you're with someone. More than anything. Granted, I still love you. And I'll always care about you. But I'd rather you be a friend than not have you in my life at all. Because right now, the, most, the best thing I need right now is some friends. Um, personally, I don't have very many friends. Um, I've... If you probably already know, Alyssa, I've lost pretty much close to most of my friends. All the friends I had in Duluth are all gone. Most of them I don't even talk to. I have only a couple good friends, and... That's it. Most people don't talk to me much anymore. Well, of course, on Facebook they still talk to me, but, like, in person, personally, I don't have very many friends I talk to. Um, I got, you know, Aaron and um, Dylan, but that's about it. You know, you met Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> Funny as shit. Um, I love that kid. Um, and I also love Dylan. Or Aaron. I love having both of those guys in my life. Um, it's been surprising how long we've been. I've been friends with those two. It's been a long time. We've been friends for a long time now. Dylan, not as long as Aaron. Aaron, I've known since middle school. He's been. Um, he's had my back ever since. And I'm extremely grateful. Um, Dylan, we met like, what? couple years ago when I first worked at New Partners. It was my first time working at New Partners. Literally my only friend. He was my first friend moving up here. Him and uh, Evan. Evan is another good friend, guys. And um, so the three of them is all I really have anymore. Um, uh, other than that, I don't have much anymore. It's... I've learned... There's a saying my grandma always said. You can always count your friends on one hand and I do got three that's the reason why I'm not leaving up here because I do have really good friends up here um that's why I, when they said they were moving I'm like yeah I'm staying here I've kind of working on building a life here um but Alyssa I still love you I still care about you you still mean everything to me and like I said, I'd rather have you as a friend than not have you in my life at all. And when I said forever and always, I meant forever and always. So. Like I said, maybe someday yeah, I will move on. Um, find someone who will care about me just as much as I care about them. Um, I'd also like to find someone who's not so fucking um, insecure. I know it's not exactly easy to find, because I know how most guys are. They're fucking assholes. Um, you know, just fucking, yeah, I know. They cheat, treat women with disrespect. It happens a little too often. I don't like it. I honestly don't. I lose respect for guys who do that. So, trust me, if you're one of them and I find out, you're not just getting deleted, you're getting blocked. <laughs> or I'm going to chew you out and probably threaten to beat the shit out of you. That's just who I am. Um, just the kind of guy I am. Which reminds me, the guy who's with Alyssa, you heard her, and you will have to answer to me. And you won't like me. Trust me. So don't even hurt her at all. Okay. Good. Um, no hard feelings so If, like I said, I based off what I've heard, you're treating her good. Everything's going good over there. So I'm happy for the both of you. I'm honestly am. I know I may be here, but <laughs> I'm not trying to guilt trip anyone. I'm not trying to make you feel sorry for me because I don't even feel sorry for myself. I don't, I wouldn't expect you to. My situation right now is my fault, and it's my fault alone. And I just, you know, I've come to acceptance with it. 
I've accepted my mistakes. I've accepted my faults and what I've done wrong. And I've never done something like this to literally admit to the things I've done wrong. Alyssa, I should have bought you more flowers. I should have treated you better. But shoulda, woulda, coulda. I fucked up. And I know it now. And I will admit to it until the day I die. I fucked up. And the first time, and it probably won't be the last. So. Um. Some days I just can't wait for this life to be over because it's been one hell of a fucking rocky life. It's been hard. It's been rough. Um, I've been hurt in more ways. Than I can imagine. That anyone could imagine. Most people. I live with it every day. This shit I went through, I put myself through. Most of the damage was caused by myself. No one else. Myself. I'm taking action. I'm taking... I'm taking blame for my actions. And guys out there, I suggest you do the same. Because, trust me, you'll gain a lot of respect from me. You'll gain a lot of respect from a lot of people. Um... Uh, it sucks that it takes me to turn 25 to realize this shit, but, you know, some things could still be, you know, me and Cass could be getting married this week, you know, me and Alyssa could be getting married, or not get or we could be engaged, and we could be living together like we planned, but I fucked up, I fucked up, I honestly did. I had two girls that, to be honest, were marryable. But I fucked up for both of them. I lost my high school sweetheart. I lost Alyssa. And I know I fucked up. I started getting verbally abusive, to be honest, with Cass. Um... We used to, we fight, fight it a lot. We were fighting a lot. And I regret it. I honestly do. I wish I could have moved on from the past. And that relationship would have kept going. I thought I'd never move on after her. 